According to local water safety advocates, the number of drowning incidents in the valley are not going down. Now a couple of valley inventors are using the latest technology to come up with devices they hope will help promote water safety. Team 12's Antonia Mejia joins us with the story, all new at 6. Our main mission is to help prevent drownings. And ASU student Kevin Hale and his team creating this device that remotely locks and unlocks a gate with a phone app. And it would be installed on the back side here that would allow for a deadbolt to extend and and block the gate from opening. It's called GateSense, and just like this new product, they happen a lot. Gilbert resident Lee Kambar came up with a floating drone called Morningstar SOS. It has a camera on top and another on the bottom. Worst case scenario, my kid jumps in the pool and, and it's, it's drowning now, right? The bottom camera will send you another notification with live video feed of the incident. All of this new technology that's coming out that just helps tremendously. Jessica help. Curtis is the vice president of the Drowning Prevention Coalition of Arizona. I lost my son Parker in 2013 to backyard drowning. That's why she's involved in teaching kids how to swim. No matter what technology is out there, supervision is going to be the key. Supervision, which is why Jessica gives the simple ABC drowning prevention tips. A is for adult supervision, B is for barriers, C is for classes. Just this year, there have been at least 27 reported drownings in Arizona. One of the most recent, a 15-month-old baby girl whose mother tearfully spoke out. I should have been here. So but these local innovators closed, just hope their devices are again. one more way to help prevent a tragedy. The most important thing about any drowning prevention that we can do is education. Antonia Mejia, 12 News.